Yeah, and here's, here's the bottom line. What we're probably, what we're probably happen, I'm just going to tell you off the bat, because we know what a guard is up here. There would be initial capital expense to redesign it, but you have to allow guests in. And then you'd have to add in, um, I would say it's probably going to cost another $20 or $25 a month, Wanda, per on the HOA fees. I'm putting a car back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're talking about, was it 135000 But when you bought a green point two between because they had issues over there and they don't have a bar. So it's a balance. Maybe but, we can come up with some kind of compromises. I don't know. We can certainly take a look at it. But they knew when they bought there there was no guard. It was never implied there would ever be a guard at Greenwood Manor. So to bring up now that they need a guard, that's like, you know, and when we bought here, the original homeowners, that was the front gate. So they have to close it down and then complain you can't reopen it. You know, why don't you put a survey and find out how the homeowners feel and not just the board? Sure, yeah. put the survey out and, uh, you know, five people will answer. Put it out. Okay. I would love to see how people respond. You know, um, I mean, you know, and that is, that is, that's, you know, that's a very decisive point. That's cool. Because we bought it. Of course, let's just go on. I would love to, I would love to volunteer for the finance committee. And I'll show you it won't cost $25 yeah, a month. Say, you know, what I was going to say, too, is, you know, there's a lot of things the builder did, and there's a lot of enhancements and changes that were done over the years, too. They didn't have gate, or they didn't have line in that size. Things were added, things were, you know, amended. Um, and the reason why the gate thing was amended was a cost factor, because we didn't have the money to sustain it, because we had such a high delinquency rate. Okay? And that's why the sliders were put in, okay, because it was a one-time capital contribution. Now, again, what I'm saying is, no, if the community as a whole, if you have a petition, if you're really into it, you say, hey, listen, people come in, they say, we want that. We have a couple of people that say they want a, want a gate. You have a bunch of people that come in and say, we want a guard back there. We want to pay the extra money. Then you do it. Do you know what I mean? The board looks at it from a perspective of cost, but we don't have a lot of people saying, hey, we want a guard. We have a couple of people that say we want a guard. If there's an overwhelming response, I have a problem putting it. A survey out there. I want to use Please, a survey. Please, put a survey. So, what I would say is get a cost factor from the current guard company, okay? Get a cost factor for a redesign to open that back up, and then we do a survey and say, hey, it's going to be a one time capital contribution of this much money to redesign that, okay? Then it's going to be approximately, you know, we can certainly, it's an approximate because we can check our company, it's going to cost you this much more a month. Would you be in favor? Matter of fact, I would say instead of doing a survey, throw it in with the annual mailing. That way everybody gets their properties and they get a little a little thing in there saying, are you interested? I, I you know, that's my opinion. For us to sit here, four people, and say, no, I don't know. I get a couple people to say a date, but most people don't even respond on it. So I really, I can't say, I don't know. I don't know what the majority would want. I do know it would cost a capital well, contribution. But you already have those funds in reserve, right? I mean, right. there's plenty of money. So, I mean, for you to imply to homeowners that it's going to cost more money and more assessments, all you do is you get rid of the rover. I mean, there are ways. We all yeah. know there are there's ways if we want to do um, it. Yeah, you know, homeowners seem to like the rover. There's got to be an like interest. The rover, not like the rover, that can be added in there. Hey, we could take away the rover, we could do this. You know, I mean, there's different things, but again, that's all. Yeah, they really do, don't they? That's right. That's exactly right. And they really do need to approve reserves, don't they? They got to vote on it, don't they? You can't just take money.
before that, yeah. did you ever mention to the Christine? Did you, did you ever email your yeah, mom? I came over to my house yeah. one time because I made my plans. I was going to hire a process on planning. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, you know, the plans are dying and it turns out I have a lot of time to plan. But it's just I'm so tired and every time I work out my phone mm -hmm. and I watch these people and I go out and I tell them to do this and mm -hmm. I went on the phone. We have the racetrack, which we always refer to it as, as that um, every time they mow, almost all the time. And I know they always say it's a drainage issue or something like that, but there's also ruts like on the main street here that I've seen. And I have family that lives in Bay Winds, I have family that lives in Briar Bay, and they don't have those ruts. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine that they have any less rain than we do over here. It all has to do with the circulation. Uh, I think a lot of, but it's also of regulation and some of it is you have to slow down and you have that type of wet environment. You can't go fast. Well, we've been early. saying that and I mean because it literally it's a racetrack. Yeah. And Christine and just put out an email that says the, the, there's it. nothing you can do about the ruts and that's ruts, I'm telling you, well, ruts are unacceptable. Yeah. Really? Unacceptable. And I agree, I agree with that. So I'm not disputing that. I'm saying it is an issue with a wet property. And I have checked with other, and I've asked even Tommy Frower that's been doing our fertilization. He says he encounters it in all of his western communities because this area was so swampy out here. So you will always have a percentage. I, I can't say that we would ever get a landscaper and you're going to have no ruts. I don't think that's going to happen. I would love for it to happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, if you go out and look in Bay Winds, their landscaping is immaculate. They, they don't ever have, I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and part of it's budget too, you know, and that's something the landscape committee is looking at is comparable um, communities and budgets, etc. I mean, I know like Buena Vida, theirs looks really good most of the time, and that's where we took our, um, when I met with them, because I do reach out to other homeowners associations, and they separated their contract now, and they have separate vendors, so that's kind of why we modeled that for them, because it was working well over there, and, um, but their budget's a million dollars for long they have less of choice. Us. So they're, they're, they're just double our budget. So again, your budget is part of it. Your workforce is part of it. So you got to look at the whole equation on it to determine you know, where you want to go. Today, we've noticed that the ruts aren't as bad today, but now it's our grass is like this. Uneven? Yes. Well, that's what they said, but we have like this one weed that goes all the way out. That's growing up like half a heart. <laughs> But so I don't as I said, <laughs> we're looking at, you know, we're bidding it out, so, you know, we're going to see what other vendors come in out on Oh, I, quick, quick, are you allowing the same company, current company to bid? Pardon me? Are you allowing the current company to bid? Yes. Which one? The current company to bid. Yeah, he can bid on it, yeah. there's going to be other bids. We, we, we've had, we've had Valley Crest twice. We've had the, the alphabet company called TMZ, that's one. Yeah, had Giappi ones, and there's about three other ones that I can't even remember. So we've had, we've had in here at least, I mean, an unbelievable number of, of But companies. there's also like a matter so of it's like, not, it's not like we haven't tried. I mean, Valley Crest was the best to have. I've been in this community uh, right here. So there are about 20 people in here. Well, I say it's Valley Crest is the worst. Go look at my backyard. I locked them out. They didn't cut my grass. But, um, it's it's cruel. All I can say is that we, not, we, if we, we can, have If we can get off the landscape subject, because we already said we are getting it, um, or it's gone, you know. Who's going to take the bike back there? I locked them out. I'll cut my grass tomorrow with a push mower. I got a push mower. I'm cutting it myself tomorrow. I locked them out. They were trying to get in. Yeah. I wouldn't let them in. I said, go away. It's ruined. It's you know, I know, like, most of the time you bid on the huh? Damn. Okay, hold on. Damn, that was the best way to put it. I've been trying to tell them for a month. Not damn. Pay more HOA, get a better service. What we talked about before about security uh, from Greenwood Manor, no, it wasn't a guarded gate when we bought there, but we're concerned about security also. There's a lot of tailgaters that go in there, and I belong to this whole community, and so does everybody agree with me. So 
So we want security there as well too. So just to keep that in mind. But what I originally wanted to talk to you about was the payment plan for the late assessors. And yes, you do have to have a technical banking background. And you do have to have a, a plan or a policy that does not discriminate. Exactly. So That's the policy, what I said. in the policy, you could have like, um, like you're talking about different situations. You could say, we want to look at the dollar amount. We want to look at exactly. the credit score. We want to look at the other issues involved. We, we want to, you know, so there's certain things that you're going to look at. And if it gets to a certain amount, $10,000, whatever, no. No. So you just, that's in the policy. Mm -hmm. And you'd like to help us. I agree. Thank you. And if you would like, if you want to, you can maybe sure. throw something our way on that. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh -huh. Thank you. Like well, no, I, I, I'm new to the area, and I live in Waterford. Okay. I live on the corner of um, Plantation Estates Drive. Uh -huh. I don't know what the street is going in, okay. but it, it has to do with the way everything drains. Okay. We have a drain that it sits 